he and my mother moved to Orange County in 1960, and that's when they joined uh, Temple Beth Shalom. It was the first Jewish temple uh, in Orange County. Bernie's always been an important leader in our congregation. For two years, he's served as a congregational president, truly being a leader extraordinaire for us. But also, Bernie was instrumental and responsible for bringing then the UAHC Regional Biennial to Costa Mesa to here in Orange County. Bernie was the first person uh, at Temple Beth Shalom uh, to uh, enter into the national scene. And he served on the union board for uh, 12 years. Max and I joined the temple about 1960, as I remember. Neither one of us were very involved at first. We were just like any other new family. We walked in, we didn't know many people. But Maxine was always there for everything that, uh, that we did. In fact, my contact with, with Bernie was always with Bernie and Maxine. They were joined at the hip. Maxine was very involved with bingo, and her big contribution to that was making brisket to have for brisket sandwiches at the bingo activities every week. Yeah, Maxine was very protective of that. She, there was one thing you could really get her ire up if somebody suggested that bingo was going to go. I don't know, maybe it was because Bernie liked the brisket. <laughs> Maxine was president of the Sisterhood for two years in 1970, and Bernie was president of the Temple a few years later. I was Temple president, and it was in 75 and 76. 1975 and 76. It was during his presidency that Bernie brought the Havara program to Temple Beth Shalom. The members of his Havara remain close friends even to this day. We had four sisterhood presidents and five temple presidents out of those years. And we have maintained to this day our close relationship. And we're there for each other through good times and bad times. Brad calls us the Orange County Mafia. <laughs> Yeah, I coined the term the Jewish Mafia, I think, back in the 70s, when it finally dawned on me that consistently the same group of friends were always involved in every activity, every year. Maxine passed away in July of 2005, and since that time, Bernie has sponsored a sisterhood event to honor her memory. The Maxine Horowitz Cultural Series has brought just that to the congregation a dynamic and exciting cultural series that has involved music and drama throughout these past years. It's very important to me that this series is there today. It's an annual reminder to me of my mom and, and of her service to the sisterhood. If there is definitely a man who is passionate about projects and about ideas and vision, it is truly Bernie. Bernie's recent passion has been to work with our master plan committee and our capital campaign committee to envision the future of our current campus. The building we are now in at this moment is over 50 years old and it has served us very, very well. But we have outgrown this building. It's like wearing clothes that are out of date and that don't fit, but we're still here. Nobody will ever know how many hours he spends between his meetings or after his meetings or on the phone or on email uh, to keep everybody involved and to keep a project like that going along. If I could, I'd borrow from Martin Luther King. I have a dream. A lot of other people do. I would like to live long enough to see an impressive tribute to Reform Judaism in Orange County and to our congregation and its people. Now, my parents helped lay the foundation for the temple uh, here in Orange County, and it is my hope that going forward, with all of your help, a new foundation will be built for the temple, and which will help my father really realize a dream he's had for a very long time. What would I like my legacy to be? That's easy. I would like to live to see these buildings replaced. I don't have a negative feeling about the buildings. It's time for us to think for the next 50 years. Bernie and Maxine Horowitz built a foundation for where Temple Beth Shalom is today. And so now it's up to all of us to get involved, to seek that which we are passionate for, and be able to continue to build on the foundation that Bernie and Maxine Horowitz laid for each of us.
Congratulations, Dad. It's, it's, I'm very pleased that I'm able to be here tonight uh, to help recognize what you've done for all the years. You're a, you're a tough act to follow, but I'm very proud of everything you've done. Mazel tov, Bernie, on this great honor. We couldn't be prouder to celebrate with you tonight. Bernie, yasher koch. We wish you mazel tov and a big toda raba for all that you have done and all that you continue to do for Temple Beth Shalom and our congregation. Once you're his friend, it's forever. And he will do anything for you, and if you happen to do something for him, he will thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. And, and my hint to everybody would be that at this event, if you see Bernie coming towards you to thank you for coming, is you walk towards Bernie, and be, just as you get to him, before he can open his mouth, you say you're welcome, and you walk right past him.